So we're talking about fruit. Um, we're starting off with fleshy fruits, which are the kind of things that we typically think of as fruit. Um, you don't, when I say fruit, none of you think of green beans, right? Okay, those are dry fruits. We'll talk about those later. Um, these have, we're calling it a fleshy mesocarp. And mesocarp is the middle part of the fruit. It's the nice, fat, juicy part of the fruit, okay? So there are three different kinds of fleshy fruits. We're going to probably just talk about simple ones today. Simple, aggregate, and multiple. So do you remember what the pistil is from when you did plant fertilization with Mr. Maple? Uh, yes. The female part that sticks up, the pollen travels down that tube and fertilizes the ovary, that thing. So very often you'll see a structure that looks something like this. It looks like a little chimney. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a vase or something. You know, and here are all the petals, and the little ovaries are in here, and pollen, we'll draw the pollen in some other color, like yellow, like pollen. Yellow. Pollen. The pollen travels down there, fertilizes it. So simple fruits develop from a single pistil, one pistil. You can have a fruit that develops from a single flower, but there's actually more than one pistil. They're all sticking up in the same place. And then you can have stuff that develops from a whole bunch of flowers all shoved together, which is kind of weird, but we'll talk about that. I think pineapples are a multiple fleshy. Wow. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> so, there are three major kinds of simple fruits, droops, berries, and palms, that we're going to talk about. Droops have a single seed, and it has a hard outer covering. Did I miss a slide? So we've got the three regions, exocarp, mesocarp, endocarp. We've got the seed in the middle. Lump them all together, they're the perocarp. So droops have a single seed, and the endocarp is hard. Which one of those do you think might be a droop? A droop? Mm -hmm. uh, single seed. Top so right. look at those three pictures. Agree with the people at your table. Ashley, you can agree with somebody sitting near you. So, which one do you think is a droop? Single seed. Single seed, hard endocarp. If you need a refresher, the endocarp is that boundary between the fleshy part and the seed. Okay. Single seed. Would you say it's the mango? Yes. Yes, it is. That's a mango. It's got a single seed. Of course you knew that. Of course you knew that. Um, it's got a single seed, and we will see a mango seed tomorrow. Um, we'll get to touch it and squeeze it. We'll try to get it to germinate. We'll try to grow a <sighs> Dean, I think that just for the mango alone, you should come here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so berries, single or multiple seeds, fleshy pericarp. Well, let's look back. What's the pericarp? All that stuff. Single or multiple seeds, but it's got a juicy, fleshy pericarp. Which one do you think that is? Got a juicy what? Juicy, fleshy pericarp. The pericarp, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's grape. Yeah, Grapes or berries? Yeah. So. There's no bound, there's no, um, the whole pericarp, everything outside the seed is juicy. There's not like a pit that you hit, like you do with a peach or a plum. And then palms are fleshy, but the weird part is that the flesh isn't the actual ovary. The flesh is tissue that is around the ovary, and there's a boundary that's sort of leathery. There's only one left, obviously. An apple. The apple! So who here has bit too far into an apple and gotten a chunk of core? I have. Okay, I hate that. It irritates me. Well, you probably shouldn't eat a whole lot of the seed, but no, it's not going to hurt you. That leathery boundary that you hit and you're like, my, my daughter freaks out completely if she hits that. That's the endocarp. That's the boundary where the seeds are inside it. So what we think of as the core in a poem is actually the endocarp. Okay. Not like, oh, you look a little droopy today, but it's a droop. A cherry. So, cherries, apricots, actually not avocados. 
that's what mm-hmm. I've, I see that. It's got a single seed, but, but that's, a, that's a fantastic mistake because I have made that myself. The key is this. The endocarp, the boundary between the seed and the fleshy part is hard. Peaches, plums, cherries. It's got a pit. Um, sometimes these are called stone fruits. Has anybody here eaten olives that have the seeds in them? Yeah. Okay. No. They've got a pit in there. If it's got a pit, it's a droop. Olives are a droop, cherries are a droop, apple, apple, apricots, good lord, I can't speak today, um, apricots, plums, those are all droops because they've got that hard pit in the middle. Not a fruit. Okay, <laughs> but nice try. Okay, um, berries, this is the one that's the most confusing. There are three types. No, but we can't, oh, um, Here's the thing, and Ashley, you and I talked about this yesterday. Strawberries, not berries. What? Not a berry. They're called a berry. They're not a berry. But, oh, they're not a berry, botanically. Berries. Well, we're going to talk about that, too. <clears throat> um, <laughs> ha, raspberries, not a berry. Blackberries, not a berry. Blueberries are a berry. What? What? This is bogus. This is so bogus. Peppers? Those are a berry. Definitely. Tomatoes, totally a berry. Pumpkins, they're a berry. Orange. I am not messing with your head, I swear to you. Oranges? Oranges are a berry. Yes, sick. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's break berries down a little bit, because there are true berries. And these have a very thin skin, like a tomato. Grapes. Like a grape. Yeah. Thin skin. And when they're mature, the whole pericarp, it's all soft. You can bite right through it. Tomatoes, grapes. Um, you wouldn't want to bite through a raw eggplant, but you could if you had to. No, that would be disgusting. Um, then you have what are called pepos, and these are really your squashy things. Pepo. Pumpkins. Cucumbers. Watermelons. If it's got a hard rind, if you need to get out the giant butcher knife and go to cut it in half, that's a pepo. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe or a pepo. Watermelons. Watermelons are a pepo. Honeydews are a pepo. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, in the summer, I could eat three cantaloupes a day. I could. My 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 daughter, who is this big, when she was like two, she could eat a whole cantaloupe in a day. Oh, I like cantaloupe. Oh, uh, I, mean, I don't eat them this time of year, but in, in the summer, when they're abundant, I go, I just go nuts on cantaloupe. Okay, well, again, in the summer. Well, okay. But whether they're good or weird or they taste good or they don't, if they have a rind, they're a pepo. For sure. Well, some of them, I mean, like, have a good taste. Some of them are just like nothing but, like, just a bunch of water. Yeah, some of them. I agree. So the third kind of berry are hespidium. Hespidium. So if it's got a leathery, oily skin. So who here has peeled, yeah, juicy little tiny sacks. We'll look at the inside of a grapefruit tomorrow. We will find a little juicy sacks in the grapefruit. And those are actually outgrowths from the ovary wall. So if you've eaten um, an orange or a grapefruit, or heaven forbid if you've eaten a lemon, who eats lemons plain? You do? Oh, you people are freaks. Okay. I have a cousin who does that. Cousin who'll just suck on lemons. Mm-hmm. Grapes are a berry, yep. Grapes are a true berry. Just like a tomato. Yes. And uh eggplant and peppers. Eggplant and peppers are berries, which just weirds everybody out. Yeah. Strawberries not a berry. Tomatoes, totally a berry. <sighs> You know, I believe they are thin skin, and I'd have to look it up for sure, but okay, let's, let's sort of test it. Thin skin, the whole thing is soft when it's mature. There's no real boundary between the seeds and the rest of the fruit. I, I would suspect that they are Peach. a berry. Peaches are not. Peaches are yeah, droops. Like oh, yeah. They I are, but you mind. can't trust common names. <laughs> Just like you can't trust strawberries because they're not a berry. They were, uh, you can totally trust corn. We'll talk more about corn later. Okay. 
the last kind of simple fruit we're going to talk about, and then I'm going to give you coloring stuff. We love that color. I know. Me too. Um, poems. I love poems. You have eaten poems, not poems. <laughs> poems. P-O-M-E-S. So, these are apples, pears, quinces. Those are the best examples. Crab apples are a poem. Quinces. Quinces. You've probably never eaten a quince. John Quincy Adams. Yeah, but you never ate a quince. Um, this is a quince right here. And they, you can find them growing on old farms around here sometimes. A lot of them are ornamental. They don't bear a lot of fruit. They, so you know how there's a core. And oh, you, can see, really seen you can see the core in apples and in pears. You yeah. can see that boundary. Yeah. In a quince, it's a lot leatherier. Yeah. And you know how pears are sometimes gritty? They can yeah. be. That's because they have what are called stone cells in them. So they're actually little cells that collect. They sort of calcify. Um, and when they're dead ripe, it's not all that noticeable. But before they're ripe, they're kind of gritty. Like you're yeah, a little bit. Quinces have more of those. So most people don't eat quinces raw. They cook them down into quince jelly or quince jam. So that's more common. But those are poems. Not poems, but poems. So you can say a poem and eat a poem. At the same time. You could! Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to hand out a coloring sheet. Yeah. Okay, so you've got, yeah, it is. It's not, it's not super simple. Um, so you have um, fleshy fruit types, colored, and do at the end of the period.